Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Techie Code Buddy. I hope you all are doing extremely well and your placement preparation is also going well. Well guys, first of all, if you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed this channel till now, then do consider subscribing this channel as this really motivates me to make more such content for you and for your placement preparation. Alright? And in this video, we are going to see some questions from MS Office and applications as well as network security and cloud security that are recently asked in Exchanger and uh, it can be helpful for you if you have your Exchanger exam in the next upcoming days. So let's start with the first question now. But let me first take pen. Okay. Now the question is, what is the formula len of I love metal will return? So this len function is used for returning the length of the input string. Right, so this is the input string. So let's uh, count the length or we can say let's uh, let's identify what is the size of this string. So 1 and this space will also be counted. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this will return 12. So the length of this string is 12 and 12 will be the answer of this question. So let's move on to the next question. The next question is, which of the following function will you use to extract the month from a date given in a cell in MS Excel? So to extract the month from a date given in a cell in MS Excel, you will use month function. All right. So let's move on to the next question. So the next question is, if you want that all the numbers between 0 and 50 in a range should be displayed in blue color, then what operation will you perform? Select the numbers in range from 0 to 50 color in blue. So it can be a possibility. Yes, it can be possible. You can use this thing. Uh, right. then, then use if function. We can also use this. Apply conditional formatting. Yes, it is also possible. And all of the given options. So all of the given options will be true for this question. So let's move on to the next question. The next question is, identify the view type in MS PowerPoint, which will lead to the screen given below. So, this is screen. This is screen comes from which operation? Okay, so if we take the backstage view, then we will have to see this type of interface on our screen. So, the option number D will be the correct answer for this question. So, let's move on to the next question. The next question is, which of the given option tells the purpose of the PowerPoint layout given below? So, this thing and this thing. So these are used for comparison. Comparison or for telling the difference between two things. Okay. So option number A will be the correct option over here. So let's move on to the next question now. The next question is just a minute. Yeah. So the next question is consider a scenario in which you have a flowchart in your slide that has different themes for the various shapes in the flowchart. Which tab will have different them uh, different theme styles? Design tab, animation tab, insert format tab, or drawing tools format tab. So design tab will have the different theme designs, or we can say styles. Okay, so design tab will be the correct answer for this question. So let's move on to the next question. So the next question is consider the following line of text: Good morning, welcome to the MS Word. Promote and demote lists item. Now. Which of the following option in MS Word is used to move the text welcome to MS Word to one line to one level right? So if we have to move this text welcome to the MS Word one level right, so what we will use? We will use shift plus tab key. Okay, option number B will be the correct answer for moving welcome to MS Word for one level right. Right now, let's move on to the next question. So the next question is. What is the purpose of the icon shown in the image given below? So this is the image. You have to tell what is the purpose of this image. Now the purpose of this image is to change the page size. Right? Option number A will be the correct answer for this question. So let's move on to the next question. So the next question is an email needs to be sent to the people mentioned in the screenshot given below. XYZ at the red gmail.com and this, then CC is this, BCC is this. So select the incorrect statement from the given options. X1Z at the red gmail.com can be seen as a recipient by other recipient. XYZ at the red gmail.com can be seen as a recipient by other recipient. Uh, LMN at the red gmail.com can be seen as a recipient by other recipient. It is true. It is also true. 
and I uh, L M O at the rate gmail dot com can be seen as a recipient by other another recipient. So it is also true. So in that case, what is uh, incorrect statement? So option number A. Option number A is incorrect statement here. So option number A will be the correct option for this question. So let's move on to the next question. The next question is. Zo is working on an application project which can be used to edit text, format, input pages, or prepare a report, and can also save and print the entire document. Which of the given application is one related with the above mentioned scenario? So he can edit text, format, input pages, prepare a report, and also he can print the entire document. So all the document, uh, all the documents work is related with the word processing. So he is must using he. Must be using the word processing. So option number B will be the correct answer for this question. So let's move on to the next question. Now, answer of this question is you have to tell me. Okay, I'm telling. In MS Word, if you want to repeat the last section performed, then which of the following keys should be used? So you will be using Control plus Y combination, right? Now, this question. If you will merge all the eight cells shown in the image. Then which of the following value will remain in the merge cell? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you merge all the cells, so what you will get at the last? So you will get only first cell. Okay, so only this cell. So option number D will be the correct answer for this question. So let's move on to the next question. The next question is in MS Excel, merging cells this keep only value and discard all the other values. Upper right, upper left, bottom right, or bottom left. So upper left will be the correct answer for this question. So let's move on to the next question. What does the given shape of cursor in MS Excel indicate? Enter data inside a cell, select a cell, select menu, or column resizing. So this is showing the column resizing. Option number D will be the correct answer for this question. So let's move on to the next question. The next question is. What does the given shape of the cursor in MS Excel indicate? Move selected cell, enter uh, enter data inside a cell, column resizing or select menu. So this figure is shown as move selected cell. Let's move on to the next question. What does the green triangle sign on the top left corner of a cell in MS Excel indicate? So this sign indicates a comment, a comment in MS Excel. So let's move on to the next question. Now the next question is: While using Paint application, if you want to fill a circle with red color in minimum time, then which of the following should be used? So you should use this thing. You should use this thing and two. So option number B will be the correct answer for this question. Now let's move on to the next question. The next question is: Which of the following function key is used to refresh the MS Word document? So F5 function key is useful for the refresh of MS Word document. Let's move on to the next question again from Word. So, on which of the following tab you will you would click if you want to print a document? So, if you want to print a document, you have to go into the file and then you will be seeing our option of print or save as. Okay. So, file will be the correct answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. If you have used Control plus Z to undo something, then which of the following is used to redo it? So, Control plus Y. Control plus Y will be used to Redo it. Now let's uh, move on to the networking question. So the first question is, which of the following statements are true? Statement one is broad network access allow the use of heterogeneous clients. Broad network access allow customer to use resource without the knowledge of exact location of the resources. Resources pooling allow user to provide two multiple clients using the same physical equipment. So all these three are True only. So all the statements are true over here. Now let's move on to the next question. Next question is which of the following is or are important for serving time-sensitive manufacturing application? None of the mentioned option: latency, both network bandwidth and latency, or network bandwidth. So both network bandwidth and network latency are useful for. Uh, for time sensitive manufacturing application now let's move on to the next question so the next question is which of the following are the common steps performed in every round during encryption and decryption 
तो इन इनक्रिप्शन एंड डिक्रिप्शन एड रॉन्ग की एंड सब्सटीट्यूट बाइट बोथ आर दी कॉमन स्टेप दैट आर परफॉर्म इन एवरी राउंड राइट सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द साइज इन टाइप ऑफ ग्रुप टेम्परल की इन केस ऑफ सी सी एम पी सो इन केस ऑफ सी सी पी सी सी एम पी द साइज इन बाइट ऑफ ग्रुप टेम्परल की इज सिक्सटीन बाइट नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Which of the following function for collision avoidance before transmission is optional? Both distributed coordination function and point coordination function. No, point coordination function is useful for collision avoidance before transmission is optional. So option number B will be the correct answer for this question. So let's move on to the next question. Which of the following is considered as the unsolicited commercial email? Spam. Spams are considered as the unsolicited commercial emails. So let's move on to the next question, and we are about to end, guys. Okay. So which of the following has many features that are no that are now known as cloud computing? So internet. Internet is now known as cloud computing. So let's move on to the next question now. Which of the following options is correct based on the below statement? SSH keys can be used to hide backdoor. SSH key h keys are changed on regular basis this is true this is true s s key uh, cannot be kept offline this is also true now s s h key replaced the insecure rehost authentication that uh, that was vulnerable to active network level attack so this is also true so all the statements are true only so yeah let's move on to the next question the next question is salesforce is an examples of which of the type of cloud based service is salesforce is an example of saas So the next question is as per which of the following essential characteristics of cloud the hosted application should be read uh, should be reachable via any network based appliance so broad network access okay now the next question is in which of the following type of hardware virtualization the guest software run their own isolated domain so none of the mentioned option emulation virtualization para virtualization full virtualization so in which of the following type of hardware virtualization para virtualization para virtualization is used for run their own isolated domain so let's move on to the next question now the next question is which of the following are the path characteristics that define it as cloud services built on virtualization technology this is true provides a variety of services to assist with the development testing and deployment of apps this is also true now integrate web services and databases so all the things all 1 2 3 are true only now let's move on to the next question data availability as a security service is threatened by which of the following type of attack daniel attack daniel service of attack will be the correct answer for this question now the given ip address belongs to which of the following ip class 10.50.13.40 so this is this belongs to class a only let's move on to the next question the next question is in which of the following type of cyber attack emails as shown in the image are sent to victims so in phishing in phishing emails are shown uh, in the image are sent to victims so let's move on to the next question in osa reference model which of the following data unit is exchanged between two transport layers frame bit segment or packet so in osa reference model segments of data units is exchanged between the transport layers now let's move on to the next question so identify the type of topology shown in the image so some of you can guess it uh, like star topology but no it is mesh topology it is mesh top right so yeah that's all for today from my side i hope all the questions are clear to you and you were eagerly waiting for this type of video and if you want to Uh, watch these type of videos from Accenture related content. You can visit my channel. There, there is a playlist Accenture preparation. You will be finding. Uh, there are forty plus videos are there that will be very helpful for you. So if you haven't visited the channel, so make sure to visit. And yeah, till then, bye bye and take care.